Hello and welcome to ArtBeast video tutorials. My name is Milad and in this video I'll be showing you how you can install WordPress. Installing WordPress is a very easy process, but there are a few things that needs to be prepared before we talk about the installation. First, it's the domain name, which is basically the address of your website. If you just Google registered domain, some popular websites like register.com or GoDaddy will show up in the results and you can choose them for domain registration. After that, you need a good web host. Choosing a good web host is critical for performance and success of your website. So you need to make sure that your hosting service provider meets WordPress and Jupyter's minimum requirements. Fortunately, we have prepared an article in ArtBeast Knowledge Base that goes through this deeply and recommends a few. So feel free to take a look or ask your chosen web hosting company about these prerequisites. Okay, so let's say we have our domain and web host ready. Now we just need to download WordPress. So let's go to WordPress website and download the zip archive. Then we need to extract this zip file and upload its contents to server via FTP. You can ask your hosting provider for the FTP credentials. I'm going to use FileZilla to transfer the files to the server. Usually you need to upload these files to public HTML folder. So let's select all the files and folders and drag them to this area, which points to public HTML. Now that we have uploaded the files to the server, we need to create a database for this WordPress installation. You can think of a database as a place that holds all the information and data of your website. Based on your hosting provider and the technology they're using, setting up the database may be a bit different from what I'm going to show you but the general idea is the same. Okay, so what I have here as my hosting control panel is cPanel. After I log in, you can see that here we can find a section called MySQL databases. So let's just click on that and give a name to our database and create it. And now that we have our database created, we also need to create a user and give it enough privileges to be able to access that database. So let's create a user and give it a password and now that we have the user created, we need to add this user to the database. So this user to this database, add, let's give it all the privileges, and that's it. Now we have all the information we need to start the famous two minute WordPress installation. We just need to enter the URL of the directory we uploaded WordPress files on to be presented with the WordPress setup welcome screen. Here it's asking us that we should prepare the database name and its username and password. Well, we already have that, so let's go. Here I'm just going to copy and paste database info and run the install. So it's almost finished and we just need to give our website a title and create an admin user. And now we just click on install WordPress and we can see that we have successfully installed WordPress. So let's just log in with our username and password. And here we have the familiar WordPress dashboard. Okay guys, that's it for installing WordPress. See you in another video.